Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sun. Today we're going to be doing some angle pair relationships and also using them to solve for a missing angle. So the first thing we have to do is maybe identify what is the meaning of complementary angles. Well, the meaning of a complementary angle is it is a right angle or adds to 90 degrees. Whereas a linear pair, by the definition of it, is a line and would be considered supplementary which means it adds to 180 degrees. Vertical angles are equal to each other or congruent to each other, and that is because they are across from one another. So that would be a better way to recommend you recommend to memorize it. And adjacent angles simply mean that they are next to each other. They are side by side. On they don't equal each other or really add to 180 or anything. They're just two angles that are next to each other, okay? So these first two, A and B, you may notice that when you put them together, form a line, which means that this is a linear pair. And by the way, all linear pairs technically are adjacent, but I don't think we wanna label it twice just for the same thing. Whereas number two, A and B, they are not forming a line, but they are next to each other. So this would be considered adjacent, all right? Same with three. A and B are next to each other, so these are just adjacent angles. Whereas number four, A and B are next to each other, but you see how there's this right angle right here? That also means that there's gonna be a right angle on the other side for the line to add to 180, which means that these not only are adjacent, but they are complementary because they add to 180 degrees. Let's do some vertical angles. We got A and B here. A and B are across from one another, and if you are across from one another, you are vertical angles, and vertical angles are equal to each other. So this angle over here and that angle over there are equal, and you can put the little equal symbols there if you'd like to. Number six, even though there is a line here, a and B are not the entire line. You're missing this like other angle that's just vacant and blank. So A and B don't form a line. They are a part of a line, but they don't form a line by themselves. So these are just adjacent. Whereas on this A and B, A and B this time do form an entire line. When you put them together, you got A and B. Notice how they formed that entire line segment over there. So this would be a linear pair and linear pairs are supplementary and equal 180. Let's look at A and B in this time. Well, A is over here and B is over there. Those to me look like they are across from one another. If they're across from one another, they are vertical angles and they are congruent. All right, a little bit of math with it. Um, so identifying what it is determines what it would have to add to. So here, these two angles form a straight line. If they form a straight line, they have to add to equal 180 degrees. Well, we got 50 over here. 50 and what other number add to make 180? Well, that'd be 130 degrees. So 130 and 50 make 180. We got our answer. Whereas on number 10, look at those. They're across from one another. If they're across from one another, they're vertical. If they're vertical, they're equal, 43 degrees. All right, 11, this one takes it up another notch. You have to know not only uh, what angle B is, but in order to know what it is, you have to understand that all the way around a circle is 360 degrees. So if we have 209 here and 96 there, how much is left over out of the 360? Well, you could be like, well, 96 plus 209 plus B has to equal 360 if you wanna do it algebraically. You could also just subtract those two numbers from 360. Minus 96 minus 209. And you would end up with angle B equaling 55 degrees. All right. This box right here for number 12 indicates that we have a right angle going on, which means that they are complementary. And if they are complementary, you'd be like 63 and B make 90 degrees or you could recognize to subtract the 63, which is exactly what we would have to do here to solve, to get a angle of, I think it's 27, 27 degrees. 
All right, moving right along. We got 35, and what number make 180? Well, because this is a straight line linear pair, it's gonna have to add to make 180, and if we take 180 and subtract 35, you get 145, which makes sense because 145 and 35 make 180. Careful, because we do have a vertical angle here. 29 could go over here, which is entirely true and worthless. Because if we're looking for angle B, angle B is a part of the 90 degree block. So what do you have to have here with 29 to make 90? B plus 29 has to add to 90. Take 29 away from 90, you are left with 61. 61 and 29 make 90. We got another 361, so we have this 243, we got that 94, and that B all have to get, add together to make 360. So if we do 360 and we subtract the 243, and we subtract the 94, you end up with B is equal to 23 degrees. Okay. Look at 16, what angles are these forming? They're forming a line. So that means that they have to add together to make 180. You can just take that singular number away from 180, the 49, and get B is equal to 131. All right, finishing it off with some easy ones and then we get some equations. So vertical angles are your friend. This is 90 degrees because it is across from the vertical angle. Vertical angles are your friend. This is across the 73, and therefore angle B is 73. All right. Woo, hit the camera. So these two right here form a line. Lines have to add to equal 180. So if you don't like the equations, that's not going to be very easy this time because it's, it's more of an equation problem where you have to add the two smaller parts the left side and the right side, so to speak, and they would add to equal the entire thing, which in this case is 180, because it's a straight line. Combine your like terms, which would be 93 and 18 in this case, and if you do that, you get 3x plus 111, by combining these two, would equal 180. Subtract the 111 from 180. You get 3x is equal to 69. We subtracted the 111 from 180. And when you divide by the 13, not 13, 69 divided by 3, you get an x is equal to 23 degrees. Okay? On number 20, they don't add to 90. This is not a 90 degree angle. They would all three have to add to 360. So we would have 29 and 296 and x minus 24, all adding to 360 degrees. Combine any and all like terms. We got 296, we got 29, and we got negative 24, not positive 24. So we combine all three of those things together, and you would end up with 301 plus x is equal to 360 degrees. Subtract the 301 from both sides. x would equal 360 minus 301, which is 59 degrees. Two more. These two are across from one another. These are my favorite because if they're across from one another, they equal each other. So we got two plus three X is equal to 62. Why? Because they're across, which means they're vertical angles. Subtract the two, subtract the two. Three X would equal 60. Divide by three. 60 divided by three is 20 degrees friends. And last, we have these two angles right here. They add to 90 degrees. So we got 6x plus 2 and 40. They make complementary angles. They are a uh, 90 right angle. So that 6x plus 2 and the 40 would add to 90. The reason that this is 90, by the way, is not because these two are vertical angles. It's because that they make a straight line. If we have 90 over here, you'd have to have 90 for like the other two from here to here. All right. Combine like terms, we got 6x plus 2 plus 40, which makes 6x plus 42 is equal to 90. Subtract the 42 away from the 90. 90 minus 42 is 48. And when we divide 48 by 6, you get x is equal to 
eight. That's going to do it for this one. Until next time, everybody, stay positive, and I will see y'all later. Bye.